Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody. We've got a haul. My mom and I had a morning. We went to the gym. I went to a cycling class. We dropped off my car to get inspected. We went to Trader Joe's. We went to lunch at Subway. We went to Aldi. What else did we do? We stopped and did a few little pickups that my mom needed to do. We've had a very productive day. Literally started at nine o'clock. It is now two o'clock, but I couldn't leave you guys hanging without a haul. So here we are. I've got Trader Joe's right here. We got some eucalyptus. I never get myself any fresh like greenery or flowers. So I figured maybe I'll put them on the island. I don't know, just would be nice. I've seen lots of things about these, the Cacio e Pepe puffs. Sounds incredible. So I wanted to try them. I got some tilapia. I usually get the big bag at Lidl, but they haven't had it. So I found some at Trader Joe's. I will take what I can get. These are our favorite cookies, the best ever. I got these for Zane for Valentine's Day. They're almond butter cups because he's allergic to peanut butter and he loves these. I saw this on somebody's vlog and I wanted to try it. Brazilian style cheese bread. Sounds right up my alley. Got Zane his protein burgers. My friend Sarah recommended this to me. It's mozzarella cheese marinated in some deliciousness. So excited to try that. The San Francisco sourdough bread is a must every time I go it is the best sourdough ever. I wanted to try these and I thought Zane would be interested. Buffalo style chicken poppers. Frozen area really got me because I also got these mac and cheese bites. I don't know, just good for dinner to throw on the side. I am clearly on a Cacho e Pepe kick or something. I wanted to try these raviolis. These are from Dollar Tree. These are not from Trader Joe's, but if you watched my last vlog, you know. If you know, you know. Uh, I grabbed this for Zane's mom, some cheddar and gruyere and sourdough. I think that's everything that I got from Trader Joe's, surprisingly. And then, oh, we just went to the deli and I grabbed like a pound of turkey just because we have the sourdough, so we make sandwiches this week. This week has been salads. Next week, we're gonna do sandwiches. Then at Aldi, I just got some random stuff. Um, tonight, I'm gonna make chili. We got some Monterey Jack, some ground turkey meat, some scallions, beans. Uh, diced tomatoes with green chilies. I got some turkey. No, this is regular pepperoni. We love these pitas from Aldi. They're so good to have 60 calories. Little pizzas in the air fryer. Stuff them with stuff. I don't know. They're just good. Some new chatel. And that's everything that we got. What do you think, Bailey? Thank you so much. That was riveting information. We also got a new vlog up today and a cute little Instagram post. If you don't follow me on there, go check it out. Look at, oh my goodness. And I'm gonna upload a TikTok. I have a few drafts, I usually don't. I know a lot of people have hundreds, but I hate seeing them there. I don't know why it like bothers me, but we're gonna get one up. So content all across the board on all the platforms. It's a productive day. Happy Friday. Let's do our gratefuls. Bella's playing with a bag, sorry. I'm gonna put family. I had a great morning with my mom. I'm seeing my cousin tomorrow. And I'm just grateful all around that I have great family. I am grateful for my new desk because I have been sitting at it and I absolutely love it. And then lastly, I have been so obsessed with my little hot chocolate, the little packets that I put in the mugs. It has been so soothing, it's been so cold here, and I've been absolutely loving the hot chocolate. It makes my soul happy. <laughs> Just went live, and you know what that means. She's checked off. Amazing. Okay, well, I just looked it up and it's not good for cats, so I don't want to leave it out for them. So I'm gonna put it in the shower because I've seen people do that. I'm gonna tie it up with some twine and hang it in the shower. <laughs> Plan B. Hi guys, it's been a while since I have last filmed. Zane took me to go pick my car up, so my car passed inspection, we're all good to go. I also just tried one of those um, mac and cheese bites from Trader Joe's and it was fabulous, by the way. I am filling up my spices. I just got myself together a little bit because I was scaring myself a little bit when I was looking in the mirror. We're just having a chill rest of the night, so I figured I'd hang out with you guys because I got a lot done today. Hello? Why is this stuck? Zane is going to play a tennis tournament, so it's just gonna be you and I. This like hardened. I just bought this. There we go, okay. Paprika's filth. So I actually just found out today that tomorrow I am going to an off-Broadway show here on Long Island. You guys already know my girl Carly from Yes Broadway. It is actually the theater that we went and saw Elf. <clears throat> and that was, I went with my parents. We paid for those tickets that wasn't like, you know, gifted. So we've already been to this theater and seen a show there and loved it. So I think it's so cool that we got invited to another show there. So I'm going me, my mom, Zane's mom, and Zane's little sister. We're gonna have a little girls night. We're gonna go to sushi beforehand. It's gonna be great. It is at the Argyle Theater in Babylon. So it's called Punk Rock Girl. It actually seems really cool and different. It says it's a new musical featuring a score of popular songs written and made famous by female artists and female-fronted bands, including Blondie, 
Pat Benatar, Avril Lavigne, Joan Jett, Pink, Paramore, Gwen Stefani, and more. It's a 16 year old who is a perfectionist who never takes chances and feels like there's no place where she belongs until she meets a teenager who pulls her into a world of guitars and secrets, big, loud, messy emotions. It's about a young person finding community and creating her tribe, punk rock girl. It's a celebration of all things raw and ragged, trashy and heartfelt, familiar and alien. Seems pretty interesting, so I'm excited to go see that. So we're going tomorrow night. I think I'm gonna continue this vlog into tomorrow, so you guys will see that in this video. So today I'm gonna take a chill. We're gonna cook some dinner together and hang out in. I have a few things I still wanna do on my computer. The work never stops when you are self-employed. I was just listening to Emma Chamberlain's podcast. If you guys don't listen to it, highly recommend. But also if you don't listen to Ogmill, you should listen to that one too. <laughs> But Emma Chamberlain's podcast is great. She touches a lot on like mental health stuff. And today I was listening to an episode where she was talking about how people like fantasize about being self-employed, but it's really like not all that it's worked up to be. I mean, it's definitely amazing, but you think like about, she was talking about how like, sorry, I have to, well, these all like a hard. People fantasize about like being their own boss, but at the end of the day, you never stop thinking about work. Like it's like a 24 seven thing. Like even when you're not working, you're thinking about it like always. And so she was kind of explaining the concept of like having a nine to five and working for somebody else and then not having to think about it after is probably so nice. Like that's such a nice concept. I don't know what my point was with this tangent, but I was just really enjoying the episode. Oh, my point was that I'm gonna work more even though I worked a lot today, but it's just like, why not? It's what I love to do. It's like when your hobby becomes your job. It's like your passion is what you make money doing. It's a hard life balance, but I would not trade it for the world. I absolutely am so grateful and thankful and blessed and love what I do. I'm wearing my set from Lovely and Blush Boutique again, by the way, because I'm obsessed with it. I went into my closet and I was like, Alyssa, you've worn this in like so many videos recently, which A, who freaking cares? Like repeat your clothes. That's what they're there for, to be worn. But I was like, wear something else. And I went to grab something else and I was like, I want to wear my set. And I love it. That's that. Um, all right. Seasonings are filled. I also wasn't even gonna vlog today. That's why I didn't film this morning because I wasn't really planning on it that much. And then I uploaded today and I saw somebody comment, let me find your name so that I can give you credit because you're the reason that I'm filming right now. Okay, your username is 22Cherish. It doesn't have your name on there, but that's your username. And she started her comment with, love these videos, just at home doing normal things. And sometimes I'm like, oh, like, are people bored of seeing me like just do normal tasks at home? But I'm like, no, that's what I love to watch. So that's what I should create. And so that's why I'm vlogging right now because we're not doing anything crazily exciting tonight. But I wanna share with you, we're gonna cook, we're gonna clean up a little, you know, do the average things. Here's a full look at the set, by the way, if you've never seen it. I absolutely love it because it's not like super form-fitting, but it's also very flattering and it's so comfy cozy. I'm just obsessed. Also, if you watched my last video where I tried a new makeup routine, I need to tan my hands. That's gonna happen tonight. I did not do that whole entire routine today. I think I accidentally overlined my lips. I used a lip liner and I never do that. And I think I, okay, that looks a little better. I did not do that whole routine because that's like, it was so, it's so much to do just to like, you know, stay at home and vlog but i used a few of her products a few of my methods a few of her methods a few of her products and i like mixed it up together and i have mascara under my eye already and i did not with her routine i think and i showed zane because i like to get like outsider perspective especially from him because he doesn't know anything about makeup and he said my forehead looked smoother when i did it last time i used my foundation i did not use her foundation but i used like the oil i don't know i won't run you through the whole thing but i used like some of mine some of hers but this is what it looks like interesting we're gonna be experimenting over the next few weeks i guess with all of the products that i have i'm gonna do a quick tidy up on this kitchen and then we are going to cook some chili for dinner. She said I won't be back in a while. Don't wait. Already packed the bags. Call the cab. May space. And she said I won't answer. If you call me when you're lonely. I guess I let her go. Never mind. It's too late. But I can't believe I let you slip. I think about it seven days a week and this just we're gonna make some turkey chili. I am referencing a skinny taste recipe, but 
I'm kind of switching out some of the ingredients, so I'm kind of making it my own. We've got two cans of kidney beans, two cans of black beans, some chicken broth, some diced tomatoes with green chilies, two onions. I got this peeled garlic and I'm really excited because I don't have to peel it now, but it's still fresh garlic. And then three pounds of ground turkey and some seasonings and such. So let's run through it. We're gonna be using our always pot. So first things first, we're gonna get that going on a medium. Benji, I gave the cat's catnip. So Benji's a little nutso right now. Okay, got our big cutting board. Listen, I am all for fresh ingredients. Like I think it makes food so much better, of course. And I smash the garlic and it peels and there's hacks for it, but I would just rather like not have to. Like how amazing is that? It's just so helpful. All right, let's chop these. Our pot is hot, we're gonna spray it with some olive oil. And both the onion and the garlic are going in for about five minutes. Jumping over here, we're gonna open up our can of chilies after we plug it in. Her recipe just calls for a can of diced chilies, but this is all that they had at Aldi, so that's what I went with. Then we've got our Nutribullet. We are blending one of the cans of kidney beans. Ah! I don't know if they should be drained or not, but I'm gonna. I just drained and rinsed them just a tiny bit in the can. Putting that in here. Okay, hold on. We have to pause this for a second. We have to add the turkey in. Hold the phone. One turkey, two turkeys. Okay, back over here while that cooks. So this is technically a white bean turkey chili or something like that. So we're adding color to it because we're not using white beans and I'm not mad about it. It'll be fine. One cup of chicken broth is going in here. Okay, and that's gonna get pureed. I actually don't own a blender, so this is the best we're getting right now. Ready? Oh my God, I didn't plug it in again. What's wrong with me? <laughs> okay, ready? There you have it. Okay, our turkey is cooked. We've got all of our seasonings out that we're gonna need, and I opened up all the beans, and we have our pureed beans. I'm not gonna drain the other ones because it doesn't say two, and I would assume that if they were supposed to be drained, it would say. The can of chilies that she calls for is half of this, and this has tomatoes in it. I drained the liquid out. I'm just gonna add about half the can. That was a lot more than half the can. You know what? We're adding the whole can. It's 10 ounces. Okay, we're gonna add some salt, half a tablespoon of cumin, half a tablespoon of oregano. I'm gonna do a teaspoon and a half of chili powder. It says to your taste and some red pepper flakes. We are combining that all together. Two minutes, and we're starting now. Can confirm that it smells amazing. We're gonna add our pureed beans. Oh my God, they're like purple. That is so funny. Looks like a smoothie. We're adding the rest of our beans. Hopefully this doesn't make it a really ugly color, but chili's supposed to be like dark brown anyway. Another cup of chicken broth. Mix that around. Ooh, that looks good. Also, this recipe makes a lot, by the way. It has 12 servings in it, so we'll definitely have extras, which I love. I love leftovers. We're gonna add in a bay leaf. We're gonna let that come to a simmer. We're gonna cover it, and we're gonna stir it occasionally, and it's gonna go for 30 to 35 minutes, and then we stir in some sour cream, and then we're done. We're gonna let her do her thing. While our chili goes, I've been wanting to meal prep some pizza dough. If you're new here, are you new here? <laughs> Zane and I used to eat this all the time. I think everybody just goes through phases with recipes and stuff where you make it all the time and then you forget about it and I miss it. And so we're gonna make some yogurt pizza dough. This is also a skinny taste recipe. I didn't think I'd be able to find this, but I had like it written down in a random book. I knew I did and I found it. We're tripling the recipe. It usually makes four servings of it. We're gonna make 12 servings and then you can freeze it and then the day that we wanna use the pizza dough, we just take it out of the freezer individually wrapped. And it is so easy to make. You need all purpose flour, salt, baking powder, and some non fat Greek plain yogurt. That's it. And it makes a dough, it's low calorie, and it literally tastes delicious. Zane and I love it. We're gonna start with a big bowl. Got my favorite kitchen tool to level it off. We're gonna do what happened to my lighting? Hello? Hi. 
three cups of flour. Next, we're adding in one and a half teaspoons of salt. This has a magnet on it and it was sticking. And one and a half tablespoons of baking powder. Mix all of those dry ingredients together. Now we go into our yogurt. This is brand new, so I'm just gonna give it a little mix. And we're also gonna do three cups of this. I used to struggle to get this out of here with a fork. Now I have my cute little spatula. You know what? Now that I'm getting older, I used to, I used to hate yogurt. I used to hate everything. I was so picky. I didn't like tomatoes. I didn't like cucumbers. I used to eat everything so plain and boring. And now I've really expanded my palate and I like a lot of things. And I think something I would enjoy in my adulthood is like yogurt bowls with like granola. I'm not a huge fruit person. So like granola and I don't know what else I would put on it. Actually, I would like some chopped up strawberries. I would do that. Wow, this is like literally almost this whole entire container of yogurt. That is perfect. I mean, I guess not because now I can't try a yogurt bowl, but actually I would like to get vanilla yogurt instead of plain. I think I love acai bowls and I don't mind the fruit on it because it's got granola, like the crunch. So I think if I did that with yogurt, I would enjoy it. I also love the Chobani flips, which is because they have like texture to them. They have like the, you know, crunchy part. Okay, this is the third cup. It's literally almost empty, the container. Yeah, this one's just too plain. I'm gonna need some flavor. I would put some honey or some cinnamon. Oh, maybe some like nuts, some walnuts or almonds. Now you literally just go in and mix this with a fork. It's gonna turn like crumbly and then you like knead it a little bit and then you just separate it and it's pizza dough. It's amazing. We do breakfast pizzas, you can make calzones. We do like, you know, buffalo pizza, regular like uh, red sauce pizza. We do Alfredo pizzas. You can make garlic knots out of it. You can make bagels out of it. It's a great dough. This is what it ends up looking like. And with clean hands, we're gonna take some flour down, get that right on here, and we're gonna knead it together. And we don't want it to be sticky, so if we need to add flour, we'll add a little bit of flour. And there you have it. Now all you do is split it into the serving sizes and then we package it up so that we can just take out exactly what we wanna eat that day. I just try to make it as even as possible. It does not have to be perfect. I'm just gonna do a little pat of flour so they don't stick. I definitely should have taken my rings off, I forgot. Alrighty, and that's that guys. Now they just get wrapped up and put in a Ziploc, just like this. Perfection. Zane and I usually eat two at a time. They come to be like little personal size, we like this big. We like to make like two of them, you know, like one different. It's a lot of fun. I don't think we're gonna have them within the next few days, so I'm gonna put them right into the freezer and we'll start eating them next week. Here's what the chili looks like. It's looking amazing. I did it for a little bit longer than 35 minutes because it looked a little like watery to me still, but now it's good. It's still a little watery, but it'll thicken up as it sits. I just have the heat off right now. And then now it says to mix in a half a cup of either Greek yogurt or sour cream. Look at all of my hair falling out of my braid. Either I have a cup of sour cream or I have a cup of Greek yogurt. I figured I'd utilize the rest of that Greek yogurt. It is almost half a cup. There's like a little tiny bit missing. So I'm just gonna add on a little bit of sour cream. By the way, I tend to not care about store brand versus like, you know, name brand, but I have switched to Daisy. I have, it's just, it's thicker, it's better, it tastes creamier, it's more delicious. I just like it a lot. I also took out the bay leaf, I did not forget. And I'm gonna want some scallions on top, so I'm gonna meal prep them. I like to have them already chopped because then I'll use them more. I'm just gonna rinse them off quick. This is my first time using my new kitchen scissors, but we're gonna cut the scallions with it. I'm gonna start with one so I can get used to this tool, but let's see. Oh, they're getting stuck inside. What the heck? It's like mushing them. Oh, that's disappointing. Well, forget those. We're just gonna use regular scissors. I'm gonna do a bunch at a time. Much better. I do like the scissor method, but I'll be honest, I'd rather just get out a cutting board and cut them with a knife. I think it's so much easier, but I'm also like old fashioned in that way. I definitely overestimated this container. I thought there was gonna be a lot more, but that's okay. She is done and plated. I definitely am gonna want some sour cream and some scallions. 
and I wanted some tortilla chips, but we didn't have any. So I took a corn tortilla and I air fried it and I made my own chips with some oil and salt. And these are even better than the pre-bagged chips. So I'm excited about these. First, I wanna take a picture or maybe this will make it look cute. No, I want them to stay crispy. <laughs> okay, here we go. Are we ready for a taste test? I'm so excited, I'm so hungry. Mmm. It did say at the end to like season or salt more if you wanted. And I do feel like it could use a little bit more salt, but I didn't want to over salt. I'd rather do it like now, but it is delicious. That was Bella snoring, by the way. Love you. <laughs> I'm gonna relax for a little bit and watch an episode of Too Hot to Handle. You know me, I love trash reality TV. And a new season just came out, season three. I don't know when it came out actually, but there's a new season that I haven't watched, so ciao for now. You already know what time it is. Hot chocolate time. I found that this mug is actually like the perfect size and I love my little sweater mug, so cute. I think last time I showed you guys, I forgot to tell you that I put some cinnamon in it. I mean, I'm a cinnamon fiend, so that's why I love it in there. Don't forget the marshmallows. I look forward to this every day. You guys, it's becoming an addiction. I am gonna start winding down for the night. We have got a whole nother day ahead of us tomorrow, so I'll see you guys then. Good morning. We are off to Zumba. Natalie is here to pick me up, so we gotta go. Happy Saturday, starting it off right. These are from Yvette. Uh, this is like Marshall's Princess Polly tea. I'm gonna take this off when I get there. And then my Nikes, and I'll put on a jacket. Okay, bye. My battery's dying. everybody it has been hours and hours it is later in the day now i had to film for something else so i put you guys down for a while but i just got myself ready and together for the night i know don't have a heart attack i'm wearing color if you remember i got this top from guess in a pr package and i said i got it to go out of my comfort zone and i'm finally wearing it let me show you it's color and it has shoulder pads you guys we're leaving in literally like two minutes but i just want to show you I mean, this is like the first time I've put on something this colorful and really loved it. I don't know if it's the shoulder pads or the velvet. So many things that I usually don't wear, like velvet, shoulder pads, color, floral. Turtlenecks, I also like really don't like turtlenecks and I really like this top, so I will link it down below. It's definitely a little pricier, but I feel like that shows, like it really looks like a nice top. I also, if you follow me on TikTok or Instagram, you would have saw, I had a little me day the other day and I finally went and got my new bras from Soma and I'm wearing my, um, it's like so supportive but it's I wanted like no wire because it's so uncomfortable for me and this one actually like holds me up but it has no wire and I love it so I'll try to link that for you guys as well I'm wearing my Spanx wide leg pants because I love them so much and I'm wearing these little Steve Madden um, pointed booties and my leather jacket is from Abercrombie first we're gonna go to dinner we're gonna go to sushi my mom's picking us up right now and then we're gonna go to the show I told you all about that yesterday so I won't repeat myself Zane says this is one of my best outfits I've ever put on so I'm feeling uh, like yeah she looks confident. smoking hello Hello? That's it. Hello? I'm jealous that I'm not going with you now. Oh, I invited you. <laughs> no, I have a tennis match. Oh, yeah, you do, you do have a tennis match. Um. I think they just got here. here okay, party. yes. I'm ready to go. What was I going to say? Zane took pictures of me. I took mirror selfies. I know I'm not going to want to take them outside. It's going to be so freaking cold, and I'm not wearing an appropriate jacket, but we're going to run to dinner, run to the theater, so I shouldn't have to be super duper warm. This is Abercrombie, this pleather jacket. Wearing my little purse. I have my glasses in here. I made sure. And... I'm gonna bring a mask and we're ready to go. I remember what I was gonna say before. This top is a full length top. It's not a bodysuit or a crop top. So I kind of had a hard time making it look nice in my pants. I didn't want it to look like bumpy, but I kind of folded it under itself and like made it end at my pant line. So hopefully it looks okay, but I'm gonna be sitting and wearing my jacket most of the time anyway. Okay, I'm excited. What if I just wanna be with you? 
I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do But honestly I can't remember if you love me Or maybe I'm just feeling lonely, I don't know Just let her go She got herself a guy and he's good, no he's great Everything she wanted packed behind the pretty face But I kinda hope he breaks her heart Guys, I finally met Carly. Hi. It's the best day ever. What's your friend's name again? Kate. Kate. We love you, Kate. We love you. We love you. <laughs> the reason I connected with Carly is because her roommate, Kate, watches my videos and told Carly about me. So And here we are. Full circle moment. Here we are. And Carly's letting us look at the stage. We're going to look by the stage. Very cool. Amazing. What a great so show. Burr. Back in the car we go. By the way, I forgot a mask, so at the sushi restaurant that we went to, I asked them if they had disposables, oh. and they gave me this cute one. And if you guys remember, right before we left the house, I literally said, I'm gonna grab a mask and then leave. And I didn't. Oh. I forgot. This is your playbill. Take it before you Oh, thank it. you so much. Ladies? <laughs> what did we think? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what did we think of the show? It was amazing. It was really, really <laughs> thing. Guys, really, really, really so show. good. It could be on Broadway, no joke. It, uh, it's gonna be one day. I think so too. Watch. <laughs> Punk Rock Girl, it was hysterical. We were oh, all God. laughing out loud <laughs> the whole time. I met the guy who wrote the show and he was so awesome. And we got to go see the stage and everyone was so nice. And I've got to meet Carly, which if you guys watch my videos, all these amazing adventures that I've been going on, Carly is my rep from Yes Broadway. They basically, you know, get the word out there, invite influencers to events and things like that and Broadway shows. I say events because she sent us to the circus and that New York City thing. And she is just the sweetest little sweetie. She's from Long Island too. And I got to meet like, you know, a few other people from the company and her friend. It was just a very nice night. The show was incredible. And they played all the nostalgia. They played Avril Lavigne. Um, they didn't play Paramore, did they? I don't think so. I don't think they did. Um, Joan Jett, you know, all <laughs> stuff like that was great. We are home, you guys. What a fabulous night. So amazing. I'm sure this vlog is already so long, though. So thank you for hanging out with me this weekend. I'm going to start it up tomorrow for another Sunday vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Did I just say that backwards? I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Now is not the time I am making pizza dough. You literally go in. Oh. I wanted some tort I wanted some tortilla chips. Tortilla chips? Yeah. I wanted some tortilla chips. I wanted some tortilla. What? That doesn't sound right. Is that right? Chips and salsa. Tortilla chips. Yeah. Oh my god, I my eye. I just need to meal. Freaking light.